catalytic converter thefts. Catalytic converter thefts. Catalytic converter thieves. Thieves targeting cars for their catalytic converters, leaving you with a pricey repair job. So we have an issue in the U.S. with catalytic converter theft, and the Toyotas are really big on the list. Now, we just installed a cat shield on our Tacoma last week, and now Cali Ray's LED has a brand new product, the cat shield for the fifth gen 4Runner. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get that installed. So installation wise is gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna have a ratchet, a 14, 12, I don't know why I have a 10 here. So we're gonna have a 14 and a 12 millimeter uh, socket. And uh, we have an impact here just in case. And then we have a quarter inch uh, socket, which we're gonna be using for the security key that they give you. Uh, to go along with the security hardware. Now, as far as the cat shields go, these are made from 12 gauge stainless steel. They're all CNC bent. And uh, all of these holes here are to dissipate heat from your catalytic converter. And we're not gonna have to do any sort of modifications to make these fit. We're just gonna do uh, undo some bolts and replace the bolts with the ones supplied from Cali Raised LED. And it's a direct fit. These are gonna be fitting 14 to 2023 Forerunner. Uh, four-wheel drive v6 models uh, there is no fitment for the two-wheel drive guys so that being said let's go ahead and get the forerunner up on the lift and get this installed All right, so we're under the Forerunner, and you can clearly see we have a catalytic converter here, and we have one on this side as well. Now, these are super easy and exposed uh, for someone to just crawl under here and cut off right here with a Sawzall. Same with on the other side. Cut here, cut here, boom. Less than a minute, your catalytic converters are gone, and you're going to be looking at $2,000, if not more, to replace these with some OEM ones. Um, or you could put some sort of guard like the Cali Rays LED shields, which are going to be just under 200 bucks. So a uh, little bit of money, save you in the long end. And as far as installing these, it's super easy. We're going to be taking off this bracket right here. So you're going to have two 12 millimeter bolts here, along with two 12 millimeter bolts over here underneath your frame. We're going to take this bracket off and then you're going to have uh, two bolts over here for your transmission cross member. And then on this side, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Those four 12 millimeter bolts for this, two 14 millimeter bolts for your cross member. Once we have those things taken off, we're gonna go ahead and put the cat shield in place and use the new hardware from Cali Rays LED in place of 75% of the bolts that you take out. And uh, pretty easy. You got six bolts to take off one side and you're good to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this off. Like I said, we got four 12 millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab 12 millimeter socket in the impact and we can go ahead and buzz those out. So next up is gonna be the bolts for your cross member here. Now we wanna be taking these out one at a time and replacing them with the new bolt. Uh, if you were to take all of these out, gonna have a bad time. You're gonna have an issue if you go ahead and pull all of them out at the same time. So we're gonna loosen one, pull it out, replace it with the new bolt, and then keep going and do the rest. These are a 14. You probably need a wrench on the other side. Go ahead, pull your bolt out. Now when we put the new bolt in, you're gonna grab a washer and you're gonna grab one of these spacers. Put the washer on first, put the spacer on, and then we're gonna go ahead and slip that back through like so. And then we will be putting another washer on the other side and the nut. So I went and grabbed a short extension so I could get the socket on there right. Let me grab my wrench. Now, you're gonna find that this bolt will be loose. This bolt's gonna have tension on it. So in order to get this bolt out, you're gonna have to back it out with a ratchet or an impact gun. So you could tell that bolt was a little difficult to get out and that's because there's weight pushing down on the bolt. 
Um, now that it's out, the cross member dropped down and the hole is not completely lined up. So it's not gonna just slip back in. So grab yourself a big Phillips head or a flathead screwdriver and you can easily put it in there, get the hole back lined up and slip your bolt in. So before we install the catch shield, you need to make sure that both of those new bolts that you put in are gonna be forward as much as possible. So this one is loose and easy to move. This one, you're gonna to have to back it out with a ratchet or a, uh, impact. Make sure the nut doesn't fall off. Like so. Now we can go ahead and grab the cat shield. All right, so we got the driver side cat shield. They're both labeled D for driver, P for passenger. Pretty simple. Now we're going to be grabbing this little rubber insulator. And this is gonna be going in this hole right here on the corner. And what this is gonna do is prevent this from vibrating against your frame. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in this orientation so that the bigger side diameter is going to be against your frame and the smaller side is gonna be facing towards the ground. So the easiest way is to get it started like that. Take a flathead and push in, work it around, and then eventually it'll pop in place. When you are installing that rubber plug, just keep in mind that these edges are sharp. Uh, when I was doing the Tacoma one, I actually sliced my finger open. Ow, I just f cut myself. So just be careful when you're handling this thing and grabbing it. So before we get this thing up on the Forerunner, what we're gonna do is take those spacers and we're gonna slide those in against your cross member and leave the regular washers out. And what we're gonna be doing is sliding the cat shield in between that spacer and the washer. So just for example, I have a bolt here set up with the spacer and washer. When you slip this up in, it's going to be in this orientation here. So you got the uh, spacer on the inside, washer, bolt. So small issue when we went to go put this up, this whole section of the cat shield is going to be sitting pretty much right where the foot is for our lift. So we're gonna have to let the truck down, move this to right behind the cross member. Not really where I would like to put the foot. Hopefully the front is not too heavy and unstable on the lift. But just a note, if you are gonna be doing this on a lift, you can't put it right there. You're gonna to have to move it back. All right, we got the lift foot moved. Everything's good, doesn't seem like it's gonna fall on me. But first thing we're gonna do is slip the uh, cat shield in above your lower control arm bolt. And then we can go ahead and get that slipped in like so. And we'll go ahead and push these in and run that one in just so it stays in place. So we got it hanging up there by these two bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on now. The bolts that go uh, through this section, which goes into your transmission uh, brace, those are gonna stay with your OEM bolts. Over here, between the cat shield and the frame, that's where we're gonna be replacing the OEM bolts with the Cali raised uh, security bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolts started. Grab a security bolt and a washer and the tool. We can get these started. All right, so I was having a bit of trouble getting these bolts started with these two already in. So I took these two out and got this one started first. It was a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one in and then hopefully we can get those started as well. So with those two bolts started now, we can go ahead and get these uh, reinstalled. This is a bit tight. So what I'm gonna do is while it's in there, push up and slowly get the bolt started. Make sure that you're not gonna be cross threading it. Now, before we go ahead and tighten those, we wanna make sure to tighten the other 14 millimeter bolts first. Then we can go back and make all of these tight. All 
So we just finished up installing the driver's side cat shield. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps on the passenger side, get that one installed, and we're finished. All right guys, that's gonna finish up this install in this video. If you guys wanna grab a set of these cat shields from Cali Rays LED, they're both available for Tacoma and 4Runner on GoToExpedition.com and have some more security at night while you sleep and know that a thief might not wanna be taking your catalytic converters. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.